Hey guys, so I'm gonna do another video on guard retention. This is a common problem I see a lot of people make, so come here. Okay, so um, when you're playing your guard, you're trying to get to some uh, position you like to play. It could be closed guard, it could be spider guard, collar sleeve, whatever you like to play, right? But one common mistake I see people make is when they get in trouble, they don't know when to let go of the grips, right? So for example, if I'm playing like lasso spider and I'm here and like she starts to loop out, she starts to pass, at this point, my sleeve grips don't really do any good and I would be much better served to let go and focus on framing and try to work my way back to the center, right? This is such a common problem. You see it with like white belts where like maybe they go for a guillotine choke or something and like someone starts passing, they hold on to it way too long and you end up in a way worse position, right? I see people often uh, ask the question like they're in bottom of side control and I show like you want to frame properly, right? But they're like, well, my arm is way out of position. I can't get my elbows in position. Sure, you can work on getting back to that, but it's much easier to let go first and understand when's the time to defend and when's the time to attack, right? So that might look like this, where if I have the sleeves and she starts to pass, I know she's gonna get in. Let's go around that one. So if she starts to go this way, like this, right? And I like go early, now I'm starting to get my frames in. So even if she did get side, come into side control, like all the way in, yeah. See how I have my frames in now and I can start working to get out? If you hold the sleeves too long, like this, when she comes in again, and I'm holding way too long, not getting all the way to side, and now I go here, now she's in. Now it's much harder to get these frames in, right? So uh, I like the expression, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure, right? So you need to really recognize when is it uh, too, too late to be trying to still attack, right? That can be a bit different in different positions, but as a general rule, if you go into this like kind of shell position, you can defend from here and grip fight, right? A lot of people will sit up always think of grip fighting as like being sitting up and doing this. And of course, this is a big aspect of grip fighting. But another big aspect of grip fighting is being able to be on your back and defend. So as she passes, right, I'm like framing, blocking, defending. And then now I'm looking for the right moment to re-grip. So like here, maybe I could grab both sleeves and have a spider position. If I play De La Hiva and she's standing kind of close like this, now I regrip and now I can start fighting and attacking again. But again, if she like drug this leg across here, if I keep holding these sleeve grips, I'm just leaving the space open, right? Think about the idea of like uh, protecting your elbow knee space, right? If I'm here like this, like I showed in my previous video, it's hard for her to finish a pass. But as I hold grips like this, if her body's moving here and I'm doing this or this, I'm opening that space up, right? So as she goes around, she starts to pass like this. Look, if I let go early, I'm pretty safe here. I can fight back, get myself in a good position and then look safely for the right time to re-grip and lock her up. So another situation this pops up in is in the collar sleeve, right? So maybe you're here, you have this cross collar grip. Whenever they kill my right leg here, usually I'm looking to lasso and push and try to get this leg out. But sometimes like the person kills this leg, right? And then she starts going for a knee cut or something. And right about here, or even hopefully earlier, I should really be focusing on letting go, trying to block this knee space to protect knee cut, maybe lasso or force my way into a knee shield, can build to a half guard game. But what often happens, go up, is guys just, they get so attached to these grips, right? So she loops, starts going for the knee cut, she goes in, she gets the knee to the floor, and they hold this all the way to the end. And now, right about here, once she's all the way in locking inside, then they go, okay, now I wanna fight and defend, right? But you're way out of side control. So if you just really think about that previous video I did, where I talk about fighting from having your elbow kind of knee type framed, if you just imagine that anytime you really get in trouble, your default response, like an armadillo or something, is to just lock up. Okay, so it doesn't matter necessarily where it's happening from, just always try to get back to that frame and recognize when that's happening early, right? Rather than holding the grips entirely way too long and ending up way out of position, right? So what that might look like is we're here, I'm like this, she starts to throw my spider hook or something, like this, boom, I go here. Frame and look, now I'm back in that shell. So if she tries to go to north-south, right? Now we're in that north-south escape position, right? If she tries to come into side, and I get here early, come into side, yep. See, here, I'm again working into this position, right? I know it's a simple concept, but it's such a major one, right? For me, like in my competition career, it's just every time I feel in trouble, I'm always comfortable letting go of grips, defending, and then trying to fight my way back to safe grips rather than trying to chase something that's not there. That's another common problem you'll see is that um, guys try to get attacks in uh, from positions that they don't know. Generally, if I'm fighting a high level guy and you wanna have a high level game, the attacks you're going for should be things that you have trained and learned, right? So if I you know, have a good spider system or something or a daily Eva system, I go to that position and I try to play my game from there 
And then if I get out of it, I'm trying to defend, recompose all the way back to the position I know and attack from, no matter what that position may be. What you don't want to do is kind of be out of position, the person's almost past your guard, and then like jumping for a guillotine out of nowhere, going for like a reverse triangle out of nowhere that you didn't train. Because if you go for something that you didn't train, you may randomly have success, but it's not a repeatable pattern. If you want to have consistent results, you need to have consistent things that you try and make work, okay? All right, guys, so I know that was kind of a simple concept, but again, it's one of the most common mistakes I see people doing when I watch tournaments or even when I see some of my uh, students training. Um, also, let me know if you guys have more guard retention questions, because I know it's a problem a lot of people have in their game, and there's so many different aspects of it and little positions that give people hard times. So I want to know your guys' thoughts on what's giving you a hard time. Uh, check me out on Instagram, at John Thomas BJJ. It's a lot easier for me to put out small little content on like little questions that come up in class and small little details. Uh, and as always, if you guys like the content, the best way to help is like, share, subscribe. Thanks a lot.